So today I have our beautiful patient here, Maria. <laughs> Today's her sixth day follow-up after ultrasound guided trigger finger release. Can you show us a little bit about the, uh, the incision and which finger was it? Uh, it was right here, very minimal. You can't even see it and um, a little bruising still, not much. It's been six days. So that's the bruising that we would expect. That's, that's normal, the incision, you can't even tell. That's, that's the incision right there. Maria, but tell me a little bit about, first of all, what were your symptoms before? Well, when I came uh, here to see you, uh, this ring finger had been acting up um, until it finally came down to the palm of my hand, and I was literally like this for uh, over a week. I remember. Right. Um, and uh, when I came, and um, I was told by you that it was a nodule um, on the tendon here, what was causing it, and um, I trusted you, and you are the best. Because oh, no. look at my hand, look at my finger, and I feel great. That's awesome. That's awesome. Why did you decide to do this procedure instead of the traditional one? Well, uh, I'm 70 years old, so when you um, get general anesthesia, you normally could have you know consequences or things could happen and go wrong whatever and i thought uh this would be great for me awesome and took the chance and it worked that's awesome well i'm, I'm great you're doing you're doing well uh, thank you for this video you're